Hello everybody, it's Megalithic here, otherwise known as Puglo Escobar, and today we're going to take a look at doing some resupply missions for the gun running bunker. Okay, so let's get started then, shall we? Now, the first thing you'll need uh, in order to undertake these resupply missions is a gun running bunker, and my friend has one just down here. Okay, let's go and hop inside then and initiate the resupply mission then shall we okay and there we go jolly good okay now he does have rather a large amount of stock or supplies or yes yeah, stock i believe in this uh this building here certainly worth selling i'd say and so we're going to take a little stroll through his premises now and see if we can't locate him and there we go it's mr owl okay jolly good so now all we need to do is to launch the resupply mission and there we go okay now we should get a telephone call from yes you know, not every gun runner in the states got their heart in the right place some of them are downright nasty if you take out this other op for me i'll make the rest of the resupply go easy Okay, well, one shouldn't believe a single word that Agent 14 says. I can assure you that even after we take out the rival operation, the uh, rest of the resupply mission is far from easy. Okay, so the first thing we need to do then is to go to uh, go to Finewood Water and Power, as it does say so on the screen there, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Okay, now as you saw, I loaded into my Hydra there. My friend, I believe, had a Hydra as well, and this really is the sort of vehicle that you want for undertaking this particular mission. Now, like I say, this is the Vinewood Water and Power Resupply Mission for the gun running uh, bunker. And really what one is required to do is to drive down to this location and then go in with machine guns and shoot everybody to death. But uh, I really wouldn't recommend undertaking that particular methodology. I would suggest that you get a friend in a, in a Hydra or perhaps a, a Deluxo or a, even a, a Presser, something along those lines, and just hover about outside the building and uh, launch missiles in from above and there'll be absolutely nothing they can do to stop you, I'm afraid. It really will be rather a walk in the park, and like shooting fish in the barrel, one would say. Okay, now we can see on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen there, there are the number of uh, NPCs that are highlighted in red circles or red targets, so to speak. And so all we're going to do, like I say, is sit up here in the sky and fire down projective missiles at them, blowing them up. Oh, how about that? There's a buzzard. Okay, I will try and take him out. Right, okey cokey. Right, didn't seem to get him, did I? And there he goes. Not too sure who got him, whether it was me or my friend, don't you know? Okay, then there we go. So, like I say, just keep pounding in those missiles. It will reach a point, of course, where you'll have certain people hidden behind certain objects, and you'll have to move the aircraft in order to uh, polish off the rest of them. And that's exactly what we'll do now. Okie dokie there, getting some more lock-ons, as you see. So, yes, like I say, uh, another option, of course, in this particular vehicle is to... Uh, why not pull out the explosive cannons? They are particularly deadly, after all. Okay, there we go. Yes, yeah, so this really is a re simple resupply mission, as most of the resupply missions are, to be perfectly frank with you. Uh, for both the biker businesses and the gun-running bunker. Okay, taking a little bit of a... Uh, I'm entirely sure what's going on there. Right, okay, so here we go. Like I say, really not much taxing. As, as you can see in the right-hand corner there, there's a... A indication of a power bar of how many uh, individuals are left and we really are getting through them there's virtually no one left now and that really is jolly good news okay now at some point i believe we are going to have to uh, abandon our aircraft and go in on foot and uh, sooner or later that is going to occur okay i'm going to sweep the ground there with some explosive cannons see if i can't just pick off any stragglers don't seem to be having much luck though do i to be perfectly frank with you Okay, and as you can see, the uh, the benefits to a Hydra in this mission really uh, are unspeakable. If it wasn't for these particular planes, we'd have to be running around now on foot inside the uh, inside that compound there and doing our best to shoot everybody without dying, and that can take some time, you know. I mean, it's taking some time in the air, but as you can see, we really are having a rather uh, easy day of it, shall we say. Right, okay, now we have got most of them, there's only sort of two or three people left now, so it's time to land the aircraft and go in on foot, as we said would be inevitable. Okay, then here we go, right, hopping out now, most of them are taken out, okay, there's four of the buggers, isn't there? Okay, can't get past there, right, let's go in, let's go on in, shall we? Okay, now the reason to take out most of these people before you go in is because it can be rather tricky. Whoops, it is. is oh, okay, I see. We're taking out, uh, not entirely sure what we are taking out, whether it's people or uh, supplies there, something like that. It looks like crates, doesn't it? 
Yes, yeah, so, well, there we go. That's what we were taking out. It would seem great, but like I say, there are a, a large number of enemy NPCs in there, and they will uh, really make it difficult for you if you attempt to go in on foot. Okie dokie, so here we go. Like I say, uh, hover around outside, take out all the uh, all the enemies, don't you know? Then uh, try and destroy as many crates as you can from the air, and then yes, go in on foot and pick off the uh, the stragglers. Go and get those last few boxes that you couldn't get from uh, your aerial position. Okay, now once that is done, uh, we'll receive uh, a message from Agent 14, who despite his promises, will uh, now inform us we have to go to a second location and locate a van. And there we go. Okay, it's not too far away in all fairness, but no one wants to be driving a van across all the whole blinking map, and I'm afraid that's exactly what we're going to have to do. Slow method of transportation, the van, you know, but unfortunately, uh, we don't have much uh, much other option at this point. Okay, now my uh, Hydra obviously has taken a few bullets there and is smoking, but fortunately that won't actually represent much of an obstacle at this stage. As I say, I have to uh, alight from this aircraft and climb inside that van. Okay, well, we put it down, didn't we? Came in rather... Uh, Rather sketchy there, but never mind, never mind, it's perfectly okay. Right, okay, we'll abandon the aircraft in that uh, parking lot there and steal this van with the supplies in. And now all that needs to be done is to deliver this... Okay, right, okay, we've got some NPCs coming after us quite clearly. Right, there we go. Now my friend's in the other Hydra, and I do believe that he was uh, providing me with some covering fire there. As I say, all I really need to at this point is to locate that van and then negotiate it uh, all the way up the map back to the uh back to the bunker okay then we're getting very close i do believe and this is pretty much the entirety of the mission as you have seen uh you simply leave your bunker head on down to that water and power plant destroy everybody and every crate inside you will be directed at that point to a van go and pick the van up and uh, deliver it back to the bunker and thank you for watching